Jackson with your Idaho News 6 forecast. Welcome back. Even though it has been feeling like summer around here for quite some time, we officially start summer this afternoon at 251. That is the summer solstice, and typically that happens between June 20th and June 22nd, but this is actually the earliest summer solstice since 1796, so for a few hundred years, and we will see those scorching temperatures arriving right on cue as we kick off summer. We'll look at highs close to 90 degrees, and as we move through summer, we tend to see the tropics starting to fire up, and that's what's happening. We've seen our first tropical storm of the season just made landfall near Tampico, Mexico, spreading a lot of heavy rain up into Texas, and some of that will actually spread into the desert southwest in the form of some heavy showers and thunderstorms over the next couple of days. It shouldn't impact us here. We are actually tracking a fire in southwest Owyhee County that could spread some light haze into our area later this afternoon and evening. So you may see the skies just turning a little bit milky into the afternoon. We will also see our cloud cover increasing as temperatures climb to about 90 degrees for your evening commute. So if you can get in a walk or get outdoors early this morning, I'd recommend that because it's going to be hot by the time you're headed home. And we will continue to see warm air surging in over the next couple of days, especially as we move towards the weekend. We'll watch a high pressure ridge building along the west coast on Friday, and that will shift over us both Saturday and Sunday, and our temperatures will approach 100 degrees both days. So dangerous heat if you don't take the precautions, make sure you're staying hydrated and try to not stay out in the heat for too long. But into Friday, we'll get in on some sunshine. We're not expecting any precipitation through the weekend. So if you're doing some camping, you should be in good shape. Temperatures will be comfortable in the mountains. That's going to be the place to be this weekend, but we will be looking at that heat that you will need to plan around if you're staying down in the valley. And here is that weekend forecast highs right around 100 on both Saturday and Sunday. We should see limited cloud cover throughout the weekend. But for today, about 10 degrees below that, we'll look at highs in the upper 80s, low 90s, 92 for your high temperature in Emmett, 88 for CUNA this afternoon. And in the West Central Mountains, we've got a comfortable day for McCall and Cascade in the mid 70s. Idaho City, we are getting up to about 85 and we are going to look at nice and light winds across the region. Some high clouds will stream in during the evening for the East Central Mountains. We're up to 74 for Sun Valley, 76 in Stanley, and we are about 80 today in Haley. So it should be a very nice afternoon if you're up towards the Wood River, River Valley and Magic Valley. It's starting to heat up as well. 83 for Burley. We're up to about 86 in Shoshone, and there will be a bit of a breeze that develops during the afternoon. Here's that extended forecast. It's going to be hot this weekend in the Magic Valley. We're up to 97 on Sunday, and then we do see some cooling coming in for next week. Highs will slip back towards the low 90s. And for the Treasure Valley, we're jumping up to 100 on Saturday, and we don't get much relief during the overnight Saturday nights, only down to 65. And then we'll jump up to 100 again on Sunday before some gradual cooling next week. We're looking at highs dipping back towards the mid 90s. Now the Idaho News.